It's been a tough couple of weeks for Servicom employees, but today that grief has turned to joy. We got some good news yesterday, and so everybody's hanging on to that. You know, we were all waiting for a Christmas miracle, and, and we got it. 13 days after Servicom closed its doors, an American businessman, Anthony Marlowe, picked up the bankrupt company yesterday for $1.5 million. I want to thank uh, Mr. Marlowe for coming into town and taking over and, and you know, doing what he's done for everybody. Marlowe began his career in telemarketing and as a call center manager. Now he owns numerous companies. Todd Riley, the former manager of Servicom, is now the vice president of the new Sydney Call Center. He says they'll be open for business soon and former employees are welcome. All of them will have their uh, job back. There might be a few um, transfers from one program to the next, depending on uh, the availability. But yeah, I anticipate to have everyone back um, th that was on the payroll. And I think the other piece of this, too, is we're looking to grow. God bless everybody. And Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Georgina Stewart is one of more than 600 laid-off workers who have lined up outside the Salvation Army today to pick up a Christmas grocery order. She's just one of many former call center employees who are looking forward to going back to work in the new year. It's just fantastic that um, we've got hope and work in the future. New year looks a little brighter. Yes, it absolutely does. So we're looking forward to uh, 2019. <laughs>